I think what you have uh, are two uh, very eager po uh, people, and uh, uh, I think you have uh, the market is going to uh, figure out uh, when the bidding stops, Carl. And uh, uh, the beauty of this is that the uh, the Disney stock and the Comcast stock uh, both went up, uh, so the market is comfortable with the uh, the price paid for Fox. Uh, you still have a total green light uh, in terms of. Uh, the cost of financing versus the cash flows to be acquired, so there still is uh, is some accretion. So you have a, a question of how much uh, debt are the uh, the players uh, willing to take on, uh, and uh, will the market give them a green light for this? And uh, both of the, uh, the the players, I think, are, are willing to go to uh, four times debt to cash flow. That actually isn't as bad as it looks because we're dealing with uh, secularly low interest rates, and I think you can probably do uh, five years at a very, very reasonable after-tax cost. So my guess is uh, that we're going to see the, uh, the bidding go higher. Uh, at the end of the day, I think Rupert wants stock. I think he's very comfortable taking the Disney stock. Uh, I think uh, the situation for Disney this weekend got even stronger with the uh, phenomenal results uh, from The Incredibles, clearly giving them a, another franchise that they can put through, uh, through the Synergy Mill. Uh, I think the market's likely to worry about the stability of Comcast's uh, cable cash flows probably more than I think they should. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think uh, Disney has a superior stock and the ability to, uh, to use leverage, and uh, they'll prevail. And uh, my guess is uh, Fox goes over $50 by the time we're finished. Uh, I personally agree with Jim Cramer that I don't think it'll be much over $50, but uh, yeah. I think we're in a takeover proposition that we haven't seen maybe in 25 plus years. Yeah, it does, does feel uh, uh, powerful. You talked uh, in your last appearance about Disney's history with leverage, uh, Iger's history with leverage, the degree to which they have room to maneuver uh, in a business model that's studio heavy as opposed to uh, a cable heavy. Uh, how, where, is that leave them at an advantage or a disadvantage? It sounds like you don't think it's a problem. No, I, I, I think it's an advantage. Uh, and uh, Bob uh, came from Cap Cities, Carl, uh, and uh, as did Steve Burke, who used to work at Disney and now uh, uh, works at Comcast. And Steve was the, uh, the son of Dan Burke, who was the partner of Tom Murphy. And the two of them built Cap Cities uh, by using leverage appropriately and buying the stock uh, incessantly. They were, uh, along with the Tandy Company in, uh, in Fort Worth, which is now extinct, the uh, originators of, uh, uh, and along with uh, Henry Singleton, of this form of financial engineering. And uh, Disney has historically not done it, although they've been uh, a systematic buyer of their stock when the market periodically undervalues it. And uh, Bob and Christine were very clear on the conference call this morning that this was another tool in the toolbox and they were more than willing to use it. And uh, I think uh, this may surprise the market a little bit. Uh, and uh, I think that they're, they're going to be very aggressive and they're not going to go away. And uh, eventually uh, the market's going to put uh, a, uh, a, a governor, if you will, on, uh, on some mm -hmm. of the bidding and that will be when it ends. Uh, very right. similar to the Paramount uh, QVC Viacom thing in 1991-92. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.